Crankbaits are an outstanding way to catch big fish throughout the entire country. If you throw a lot of crankbaits, you have to know how to tune a crankbait because they are made to collide against cover. They are your four wheel drive lure. So when you hit a piece of cover real hard or if you make a bad cast at a dock, you know what happens to all of us, it's going to throw it out of tune. So in order to get that crankbait back to its center line, you have to know how to tune it. I'll make a quick short cast directly in front of me and if that crankbait comes back to me running to the right, I'm going to take a pair of pliers and I'm going to turn this line tie right here to the left. And if this crankbait comes back to me swimming to the left, I'm going to turn this line tie to the right. And it doesn't take much. You don't have to sit there and crank on it because sometimes you might actually break that line tie. Just a slow, slow, easy turn. And you might have to make a couple casts and a couple adjustments. So if you're looking at this crankbait when it's coming back to you, when you make that short pitch we talked about, if it's coming to you this way, you're going to tune that line tie. You're going to turn it just a hair to the, the, other, the opposite direction. If it's coming to you this way, just tune it just a hair to the other side, and that's all it takes. There are specific circumstances why I actually want this crankbait to run a little bit crooked. When I'm fishing shallow docks, it's a perfect time to actually use the modifications that we discussed to intentionally make this crankbait run to the side and underneath the dock. When you tune this crankbait to run underneath and knock off the posts and the cross beams, you're putting that crankbait in their house. It's something they don't see much. So they can stay in the security of that shade and next to a piece of cover, and they can eat a meal at the same time. So it's very appealing. It's, a very, it's, it's an outstanding presentation.